Welcome to Math Guru Inc. Today guys, we're going to look at some questions from a PEP past paper. And we're going to work these questions through so you can get a first hand idea of how we arrive at our answers. Feel free at any time to pause the video and work the problem, then confirm your answers with mine. So let us go through question one. What is the rule for this number pattern? Again, guys, we're looking at a sequence question. So we're going to look at the relationship between the terms. So 1 plus 1 times 1 will give us 1 plus 1, 2, 2 times 2. 1 will give us 2. So that will give us the next term. Alright, let us take these two now. So we have 1 plus 2 times 1 more than 1 will give us 2. 1 plus 2 give us 3. 3 times 2 will give us 6, that term. Alright, so let us take these two. So that will be 2 plus 6 times 1 more than 2 will give us 3. So 2 plus 6 is 8. 3 eighths, 24, we get that term. Let us take this two. 6 plus 24 times 1 more than 3 is 4. 6 plus 24 will give us 30. 30 times 4 will give us 120. So therefore, we can find the rule that they are using. Multiply by 1, then multiply by 2. If you notice here, we go by 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So our answer here would be B. What two numbers will extend the pattern? Always look at the relationship. What type of numbers are we looking at there? I'll give you a second to think about it. If your answer is that we're looking at squared numbers, then you are correct. Therefore, 1 times 1 will give us 1. 2 times 2 give us 4. 3 times 3 will give us 9. And 4 times 4 give us 16. So 5 times 5 will give us 25. And 6 times 6 will give us 36. Therefore, our answer is A. Which is the next number in this sequence? Again, guys, look at the relationship. So we're going to subtract the second from the first. So 3 minus 1 will give us 2. 6 minus 3 will give us 3. 10 minus 6 will give us 4. If we realize what's happening there, it is increasing by 1. So therefore, this would be 5. Now 2 plus 1 will give us 3. 3 plus 3 will give us 6. 4 plus 6 will give us 10. So 5 plus 10 will give us 15. So B will be our next answer. Steve created the following pattern. What would be the eighth row of this pattern? Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because we want the eighth pattern. So we're going to write 1 is white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. And if you guess, the ninth term would be white. But we don't want the ninth term, we want the eighth term. So we check here now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, our answer would be C. 
A group of children designed a pattern with dots. How many dots will be in the sixth term? Or a sixth pattern? So we want to find that one. Okay? So let us use some numbers to represent these patterns. So first we have 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, let's check the relationship between these terms. So we subtract 3 from 1, 2, 6 from 3, 3, 10 from 10 minus 6, will give us 4. So again, just like the previous question, increasing by 1, so we could go 5, 6. So 2 plus 1 give us 3. 3 plus 3 give us 6, 4 plus 6 give us 10, 5 plus 10 will give us 15, and 6 plus 15 will give us 21. Therefore, C is our answer. Thanks for watching, and remember guys, the joy of math is hidden in the answer.